Hi, I'm Roger French. I'm the F. Alex Nason Professor here at Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm also the Director of the Solar Durability and Lifetime Extension Center. The SDLE Center is a center that was funded from the Ohio Third Frontier and where we focus on understanding what are the uh, effects of outdoor exposed technologies that we'd want to be able to extrapolate and understand one, two, or three years of their behavior and know that they would actually be able to work for a longer period of time. Because a lot of the work that we do is in the d developing data analytics to actually uh, answer these challenging questions in which our traditional research approaches are inadequate. So therefore, one of the unfortunate parts about many of the IEC qualification standards used in photovoltaics are that they are pass-fail tests, which means they provide us no data. What we really want to do is that we want to have all the testing be, we expose something to these conditions, and then we had data from it. And once we have data and we knew how we exposed it, we do this in what we call a stress and response framework, then you will have learned much more information and now you're building on a foundation of data and understanding as you develop the next generation and the one after that. For product manufacturers and materials manufacturers, it can lead to much faster technology development. So for the solar developers, one of the biggest issues is that they many times will come and they'll be, if they're building power plants, they will have gotten down to comparing modules A and B and inverters C and D, and they're trying to make a choice, and yet they don't really have that much information as they make those decisions. And so this is where the types of insights that we've been getting about the real operating performance of these devices are the things that are most important. Because as we can bring up the known reliability and performance of PV power plants, it helps reduce the financial risk and therefore increase the yields on these assets. So in solar, we actually work all the way down the value chain to full power plants. We are merging both real-world data and lab-based experiments. And so we actually have a network of 12 sun farms around the world. Five of them are here in Cleveland. One of them is on campus. We basically have 14 two-axis trackers, which allow us to do a nice trick where we have power plants in the top of them, but then we have samples in sample trays, and the sample trays have little mirror concentrators. And so we'll look at both material studies, and then we'll also do things that are uh, like looking at components. There's 20 different brands of modules from around the world. Each brand, we have six of them. We put three of them on one type of microinverter and three of them on another type. Now we acquire a large body of data and we can slice and dice this as we need to to be able to ask and address different questions. So that therefore we actually have a number of companies who are looking for help with their technology development. So we differ from other UL qualified testing bodies or, uh, because even though we can run all of the same tests, we are not a certified testing lab. Instead, what we do is we can run those same tests and we can give the people that we're working with the feedback from those tests in an early stage before they go for their fully certified qualification test.